Another major argument in favor of intermittent fasting is that it kind of improves your nutrient partitioning. And what is nutrient partitioning? Nutrient partitioning is whenever you're consuming food, how much of that food is being like in what proportion is being partitioned between your um, you know muscle stores of energy or your fat stores all right where it is relevant basically when it comes to this topic so insulin sensitivity is something which uh, is supposed to improve with intermittent fasting and insulin sensitivity is basically the receptiveness all right if this is a muscle it's the receptiveness of this muscle to allow insulin to shuttle energy into it all right so if you keep exposing your body to a lot of insulin secretion if you're eating throughout the day or you know uh, basically you're continuously spiking insulin the muscles kind of become resistant to allowing insulin to shuttle energy into them what does insulin do then it takes all that extra energy stores it as fat so because you only spike your insulin let's say over an eight hour period of time in the day that is when uh, your muscles are highly receptive and overall your muscles become more receptive to insulin and thus they become more susceptible to taking in as much energy as possible using the insulin and uh, thus leaving very little energy to be stored as fat okay how you have to apply it is that you have to fast for a minimum of 16 hours in a day